So if you if you hold that or, or open again to the understanding that you are infinite consciousness, all possibility, having an experience, then you are going to interrelate with this world in a very, very different way. Because you know it's an experience. You know your infinite consciousness. You're, you're all powerful. You're, you're um, all possibility. You try, you try controlling six and a half billion people in that awareness state. Forget it, mate. reality and limitation and all the rest of it. You go through college and university. Um, uh, you, 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 all your peers have gone through the same system. They're telling you the same thing. Literally are linked to the letters of ancient alphabets in very precise ways. And when we when we make those translations, when the, the chemicals Where become do you the letters, look for an understanding and a fix on who you are, where you are, and what's going on in the world? You're not going there anymore because you've been shut off from that. You're, you're here. Where are you going to look? The only way you can look, out through the five senses, right? Now, it took 12 years to do it. It's a very brief message, and it literally translates, literally says to us, when we look at the DNA, the uppermost level of the DNA, the four DNA bases, building blocks of all life, it literally says the words, God, eternal within the body. You open your mind. I mean, all these things that are profound truths, when you open your mind, which is in, in, on one level opening your aura um, to reconnect to the higher levels of self beyond that. Then what you're doing is you're moving your point of observation. And when you do that, then the world looks very different. The ancients didn't know about those words. They looked at it differently and they said they're different combinations of the words God eternal within the body and they're correct as well. Two different ways of describing our world during very different periods of time. Now what is happening now is that there are vibrational changes going on which are teasing open, more than teasing open now because it's moving, um, people out of just mind awareness and that's the real revolution that's going on. My purpose was to find a single principle of peace, peace. 